Welcome viewers. Today on TV Box Stop, I feature a TV box that's a bit different from those with the new Amlogic S905X2 CPU and the Mali G31 GPU. This box is the A95X Plus Amlogic S905Y2 Quad-Core Android 8.1 4K TV box. This box comes with the S905Y2 CPU and the Devlin MP2 GPU that we have been seeing in the descriptions of recent TV boxes but have not really been what is used in the boxes themselves. Could the Y2 be a typographical error by the manufacturer and it's just another Amlogic S905X2 box like the others? Well, to answer that question you got to stay tuned. You have that and more after the break. And now a word from today's sponsor. Question. Are you a computer technician and frequently install Windows 10 or Office 2016 for your customers as a new operating system or when a hard drive fails and you don't have additional license keys to register their new Windows? Visit cdcoffers.com, they are a certified company specialized in providing a wide selection of digital codes for the latest products and games, at a fraction of what you would pay if you had to buy a new software. CD coffers range from Steam keys, PlayStation Network cards, and PC games or expansion packs and software keys. This business is a lifesaver. They're legit, they provide 24-7 live chat, and if you have any problems, you can contact them anytime and get reply. Go to cdcoffers.com and get your keys today. See the link in the description area. So I'm back, and first I'll start with the box that it's shipped in. This is an unusual color for an A95X model. I see to the front here it says that it uses LPDDR4 memory, and that's some good news to start with. To the back we have some specifications. It shows that the model is the A95X+. Plus. The CPU is the quad-core Amlogic A53S905Y2, and here we see it again. The GPU is the Devlin MP2. It comes with 4GB of DDR4 RAM, and 32GB of internal storage. It has dual-band 2.4 and 5.8GHz Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth 4.2. So without further ado, I will do a quick unboxing. In the box, we have the usual contents. You have the A95X Plus TV box itself. You get an infrared remote. These remotes have improved quite a bit, I have even seen some of them achieve omnidirectional capabilities. However, a Bluetooth Air Mouse with voice search or a mini touchpad keyboard is a better option. See the link in the description area for a wide selection of the best ones. You get one HDMI cable, a 5 volts 2 amps DC power adapter, and a user's manual. Let's take a look at its design and see what ports we have on this box. The box has a very slim design with the logo and branding to the top. This box is very thin. It is as thin as your average iPhone and it has the same layout as the Xiaomi Mi Box S. To the back. You have one HDMI port, two USB ports, one of which is a USB 3.0 and the other a 2.0. You have one audio video port and a DC power input. To the bottom, there are no ventilation holes. And that's all the ports you get. There is no SD card reader, and if you require Ethernet LAN connection you will have to use a USB LAN adapter. I will now connect it to the TV and continue. So I've connected the box, and the box boots up with a nice animation for a few seconds. Then you're taken to a startup wizard to select your country or region, screen adjustment, and Wi-Fi settings. Once completed, you're then taken to the launcher. So here we are at the launcher. This launcher is very attractive and has some nice features. It comes with these large buttons that are fixed in position and cannot be changed, and below here you have a shortcuts bar for adding apps to the launcher. Simply click the add button and select any shortcut you would like to add to the bar. The launcher comes with a navigation bar for easy navigation and multitasking, and a notifications bar at the top. 
This is something I always complain about when it's missing, and I give good ratings when a developer includes these in their launcher. The launcher also comes with a one-click memory cleanup button for quickly freeing up more system resources. If you don't like this launcher, you are free to install an alternative launcher. I installed the new and improved Treaty Launcher called the Arc Launcher, and it provides some really unique features and a new way to navigate your TV box or any Android device you may have. See the link in the description area to try the Treaty Arc Launcher for free. If we take a look at the apps section, here they have included some basic system apps, and there are others you have to initiate the install process by clicking on the install icon on the shortcuts bar upon first start like this. So I have installed all the additional apps like Cloud TV, Netflix, Pandora, and YouTube, so I will install some special apps of my own, needed to complete the rest of my review. So I have install all my apps, and let's take a look at the root information. It shows that the box is rooted, running on Android 8.1 operating system and has Super SU version 2.76. A serious word of caution. Please, do not try to update the Super SU app, as it will update then put your box into a permanent boot loop that cannot be fixed by a simple reset. You will have to do a total flash of the firmware to restore it. Don't say I didn't warn you. The DRM information shows that this box has Google Widevine Level 3 and no HDCP encryption. This means that Netflix will only show in standard quality. Let's look at its system and hardware information. The manufacturer of this box is Amalogic, and the model is the A95X+. It comes with 4GB of RAM which is DDR4 memory, and this is the remainder of the storage from the 32GB after the Android installation and all the apps I have installed. The Bluetooth version here is 4 Plus, which indicates that the Bluetooth version is 4.2. The CPU is a 64-bit Cortex-A53 quad-core CPU running up to 1.7 GHz in 32-bit mode. Below here it shows that the box has support for only 32-bit ABIs, allowing it to run only 32-bit applications and access up to 4 GB of RAM. The GPU is the single-core Mali G31 graphics processor, with a refresh rate of 60Hz and OpenGLES version 3.2. So again we don't have the Devlin MP2, or is it just another name for the same GPU? Under Network, it shows that the box has Dual Band 2.4 and 5GHz Wi-Fi support. Under Android information, it shows that the operating system is Android 8.1 Oreo, and it also shows that the box is rooted. Under thermal information, it shows that the box runs between 40 to 50 degrees Celsius under normal room temperature, and this can rise up to 60 degrees under heavy activity. The box comes with codecs for playing 4K videos like HEVC, H.264 and VP9 decoding, and a couple of others all needed for the playback of 4K media. And that's it for system and hardware information, and now let's take a look at some benchmarks. First I have the results of the RAM and internal storage read and write speeds. The results show that the A95X Plus has a RAM copy speed of 3331 megabytes per second. The internal storage has a read speed of 61 megabytes per second and a write speed of 57. These results are the same as other S905X2 boxes, so the S905Y2 didn't produce any difference in this test. I will now show the results of the Wi-Fi speed test. The results show that the 5 GHz band was able to hit the maximum speed of my internet package of 60 MB, whereas the 2.4 band fell a bit below, and was only able to max at about 50 MB. Next I have the results of the Antutu benchmark. In this test the A95X Plus scored 55,919 which is a good score, but it's around the same score for other S905X2 boxes on the market. So there's no real difference in this test. In the Geekbench 4 CPU benchmark, the box got a score of 708 single core and 2110 multi core. This is a bit lower than the Mikul KM9 because the CPU in this box is clocked at 1.7 GHz while the others are clocked at 1.8 and 1.9.
In the Treaty Mark GPU graphics test, the box scored 4,775 in the Ice Storm Extreme and 500 in the Slingshot test. Again, it scored slightly lower than the KM9 because of the lower CPU clock speeds. And that's it for the benchmarks. I will now open Netflix and see what's the highest resolution we can get. From a movie product description, there is no HD symbol indicating that you can play this movie in HD or 4K quality. This means that you can only play Netflix movies in standard quality on this box. Next, I will open the YouTube app which is the Android TV version that comes installed on the box and play a video to see what's the highest resolution. YouTube plays up to 4K quality on this box. I will now run some 4K video samples off of my USB 3.0 flash drive using the USB 3.0 port on the box. I had to remove three of the videos from my list because the audio in the videos were generating copyright warnings from the YouTube community on my channel.
The samples played okay even the jellyfish video. However, the Cambodia video had some issues. I will now play a couple of games to test the treaty graphics performance. Hello to you all and welcome to today's game. A good control under pressure. You can tell. And he shoots. Barcelona have scored here. Put on a show. The Mali G31 performed well as usual with smooth graphics and stable treaty rendering. So in summary, the A95X Plus is really another Amlogic S905X2 TV box. But that's not a problem, this box is a great performing TV box and it has some nice features. It comes with the latest Amlogic S905X2 and the Mali G31 GPU. It comes with 4GB of DDR4 RAM and 32GB of storage. Something I forgot to mention in the beginning, is that this box comes with a root switch in the advanced settings area to turn off root access if you so choose. Another feature I missed is the ability to change the large main buttons on the launcher. Netflix plays in standard quality. Streaming movies and TV shows via Kodi and APKs is also good. YouTube plays in 4K quality. The benchmark scores are good. 4K video playback was above average and the gaming was good on the Mali G31 with gamepad keymapping capability. On the downside, the box comes with no Ethernet LAN port and no micro SD card reader. One of my 4K samples had some issues. The 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi speed fell slightly below the 5.8 GHz band. And Netflix can only show in standard quality. Well viewers there you have it. This was a review of the mysterious Amlogic S905Y2 Android 4K TV box. If you are interested in this box, links were placed in the description area directly below this video and on my website where you can get it at the lowest price online. Thanks for watching my video, if you like to help grow my channel be sure to share it on social media platforms, and to be notified when the next great TV box review is released, hit the subscribe button and the little notifications bell for more TV box stop videos.